Hi guys and welcome to another Surface RT video and in this video I need some help from you. There is something on the Surface RT which is called the Microsoft whitelist for Flash websites. Microsoft Surface RT does support Flash sites but it only supports recommended ones from a list. Now there are fixes for this and I've tried the fixes and I cannot get it to work myself. So I need someone to just point me in the right direction so that I can solve the problem and then I can do a video on how to do it. So let's take an example of a site. Um, I have heard that this website called GorillaVids or GorillaVid is a flash based video site. So if I go to the main page and click on a random video it means that some flash should probably keep, be kicking in at this point to play the video or give me the controls to play the video but it can't do it. So here's what you're supposed to do according to the instructions at least the ones that I've followed which uh, don't seem to work for me. First of all this is quite a long and boring process so forgive me uh, I will give you the full breakdown and a full edited version when I can get this to work myself so you do alt T to get to your controls and then go to uh, compatibility view settings and then you need to untick this uh, tick box here which says download updated compatibility list from Microsoft because you don't want the list to update you want to be able to add your own websites so close that and then the second thing you need to do is if I just zoom back out and go to internet options is you need to delete your browsing history which I'm going to do now uh, that's now deleted my browsing history so I'm going to close the browser down next you need to go to a file on the computer and this is where it gets a bit complicated you have to go to your C drive, then users, then whatever your username is. You need to go to app data and that is a hidden file. I'll show you how to um, display hidden files in another video. Then local, Microsoft, Internet Explorer, IE Compact Data, and then this file here called IE Compact Data. Right click on it, edit it, and what this is, is a big, long, massive text file with lots of um, Flash approved sites. So any site in this list should work uh, with the... Any, any um, website in this list should accept Flash and work on the tablet. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So what I, you need to do is copy a previous one uh, this is very difficult to do with a keyboard so uh, I may just have to start using a keyboard at some point just to get this done is let me just paste that in there just bear with me while I get my keyboard out you're probably not going to see this very well on the video but I'm just going to tab it in and I need to get that website again so I get the website address and you don't need the HTTP bit in it I believe all you need is let me just get the camera back in here a little better you just need the name and the final domain bit so if I paste in there now uh, that should do it let me just delete that little bit there so I think now that that should be the correct address so we save the document there and since we're in Internet Explorer I'm going to have to delete the uh, browsing history again so delete the browsing history which is done we'll close the browser open it back up 
and we'll have to find GorillaVid again because my history is now being deleted. So we found the site. Let's just close the keyboard. And then click on a random video. And the flash still doesn't seem to be working for me. I've tried this on a number of sites and I can't seem to get it working on any of them. So I'm obviously doing something wrong. It's me being stupid. So please somebody help me and then I can help the rest of the uh, internet world. Thanks for watching guys. Not a particularly great video this one I must admit. Uh, I've just got a bit stumped on this one and it's annoying me. See you again soon in another Surface RVT video, which will probably be the response to this one when somebody tells me how to fix it. See you later.